story of God. I mean, we started from the very beginning and just kind of assumed that we had no knowledge of the rest of the story and just went through every individual part. It really brings the Old Testament and the New Testament together. Really, every individual story is not at all set apart from the rest of them. They're all together. It's, it's just one big story with different chapters, basically. And it all points to Christ, how he's basically, he is the story. And what the story of God does is it breaks these stories down and say, really, the story about Noah and the flood is really not so much a story about Noah as it is God's story. The overall just master plan of every story of the Bible and, and the, uh, the consistencies between them. But really, it just brings the Bible together. As you go along the story, you know, you realize how much God loves you and, and how He pursues you. And it, it just, it's so amazing to, to see that. It helped me really learn God's heart and see how He's always been chasing after us. And that's what the story has really been throughout history. Mankind just turned their back and, and um, rebelled over and over and over again that He never stopped loving us, never stopped pursuing us. I have a better understanding of God's love and how He is constantly pursuing us and that He has had a plan from the very beginning. I mean the story of mankind is that God was always pursuing us even when we were, you know, He started it. He pursued us first. The love that God truly has for us really comes through in these stories. I come in that setting thinking, well, I've heard this story before, but somebody actually brings something out that I've never even saw or seen in that story before. God has just been for people since he created Adam and Eve all the way up until now. It's not just the stories of their lives, it's the story of our lives too. God has just this master plan for every one of us. Whether you have any knowledge of the Bible or not, this is something amazing that will give you incredible insight into what, what God's purpose is for His people and what He's done for us. But coming out of, of that weekend, you know, that second day, just had a, a, a deeper, more intimate um, passion. I felt like my relationship with, with God was, was renewed so much. I could say I have a better understanding of God's love for me, uh, more of a fatherly love knowing that he's always, that he always wants to get closer to me. Really a way to see God in different eyes and to see the way that he truly loves us and just desires to be intimate with us at all times. God's grace through every, every part of his story and how even sometimes the judgment was his grace and his mercy. By Saturday night, when we take communion together, I think you, it, it just, Really, it feels like you've just completely been changed. I know that your life will be changed, and I, I believe that this Bible study will do exactly that. I would not miss it. I would go through it again. <laughs> you can only say so much about it, but at some point you just got to ride the ride, and you have to experience it for yourself. kids up today so I have someone to play with at kids camp. Question. If you needed to save the world, 
Is it better to have just Batman or all of the Avengers? All of the Avengers. Why? Because it's better because there's only one person who can't really do anything. Um, Avengers has a lot of people and a lot of people is better than one, so I pretty much agree with him. So a group is always better than a single person. Yeah, that because it's um that because Avengers saved the world. The Avengers saved the world.